Hello everybody, how you doing? Here we go, here we go. My thoughts on the election and what we can do better next time and how we're going to move forward. And uh, that's why I tied to this thing, doing the right thing wrong. Because you can do the right thing, but do it wrong. You know. We are living under oppression. We are living under oppression. So we must understand oppression here is the enemy. The agents of oppression in our society, all the agents of oppression that strengthen it, that so that's why I always tell people it's very difficult for me to trust the Nigerian professionals. Not because they are not trustworthy as a human being, but just because of the way society don't program them. We humans, because of our intelligence, we are the most programmable. Also, it's a, it's a weakness. I don't tell people for my life back in the day. Say, you see human beings, if you see, if you see lion, if you carry lion, put with human beings, that lion grow among human beings. Nothing for this world will make that lion eat cooked food. Now still raw food you go eat. Nothing will ever make that lion talk. The lion will go try to stand up, walk out with two legs. The lion will be a lion. It will be the way it is as nature intended. That's the way they are evolved. If you take a, a horse, a, a, any, take a dog and put the dog with an elephant, that dog will never ever do like elephant. Now see, what are you going to do? It will never try and eat grass like the elephant is eating grass. It will eat meat, even though the dog grow among elephants. But you see, human beings, if you take a human being and you put human being among monkeys to grow up, you see that human being, it will never walk like a human being, not like monkey go the waka. It will never talk with you. And like monkey go to do with his catching hair. It, if you put a baby human among lions, for some reason, the lions don't eat this baby human being. I guarantee you that baby human being will grow up. You will never walk on off. You not go walk into two legs. You will walk out with your four legs like lion. You will do ah. You will pursue meat for jungle like them. That is how human beings are. So the programming with the programmers for our society makes it difficult for me to trust Nigerian professionals. You know, because really, as a lawyer, for example, in Nigeria, what is your dream and ambition? Is to be the biggest lawyer in Nigeria. To become sound. In, how do you become these things if you are not defending the oppressor? How do you become these things if you are not a lawyer to the rich and powerful elites? You must seek their favor. That's how society has been programmed. That's how we have been made to be. You know, by our elites. You understand? So that's where it's difficult to trust the judgment. You know, the best doctor, what do you want to be? You know, which the best doctor won't be? You know, wants to be the doctor for the richest. The best doctor in Nigeria is not a doctor who won't treat poor people. If that's the case, our general hospital will not be full of dead bodies. You know, children will die because of 2,000 uh, Naira drug for hospital. How many of our doctors leave people to die in their waiting room because they don't have money to buy form, to take form, to enter the hospital? And listen, listen. This is how we have been programmed to be. The best journalist in Nigeria is not the best journalist because he's exposing. The most successful journalists in Nigeria are writing gossip. You understand? The Nigerian journalists are writing gossip. The richest Nigerian are bloggers. No publisher get money past any of those who are here bloggers. What do they write there? Gossip, nonsense. They, when they will write anything is to praise the rich and famous. They are all in the pocket writing words for the rich and famous. And powerful. You know? The paper journalists gone for newspaper, for radio. Who are their biggest clients? They can't talk any If they talk any nobody will do adverts. 
with them anymore. Their adverts is what they are chasing. You know? All the adverts, what they do, they need it. So that's how we have been programmed. You know, our talents are to protect and strengthen the oppressors of our society. So that's why it is difficult for many profession, professionals to see anywhere they talk as solution. To them, I'm just talking. Even though Richard they tell them that the theory will change this country, to them it's just words. You know, to them it's just words. It can never be solution because it, it means that they are part of the problem. You know, that's the issue. When I talk, people say there's no solution because the solution is letting you see that, oh, damn, I, I, I'm part of the problem, Sha. And you don't want to have that self-assessment. You don't want to have reflection. Instead, we want to ex instead of reflection, we want to exist in contradictions. We want to exist in contradictions. There's no liberation in contradiction. There's no liberation in contradiction. You must resolve all personal and societal contradictions to enter. Now, I don't say anything. Enter where I talk anything. I will be label and solution. We call these liars because this movement of liars, this movement of liars, every lie. Okay, so ninety where I talk. This is a solution. There is no liberation in contradiction. All contradictions, personal and societal, must be resolved during revolutionary work. For, for liberation to occur during revolutionary work, all internal contradictions must be resolved. Solution. That's the solution. Now, we know feed they here, they bury ourselves inside contradictions and expect anybody with half a sense to take us serious. Politics is not magic. There is no miracle in politics. There is no shortcut in politics because politics is the game of power. It's the ultimate game. You people think that this is a, a, your game you are playing on social media or this your... This is the ultimate game. This is the game of life and death. The game where the person, the person that wins it has the power to kill anybody, do any, give order to erase any village. You know what that? There is no miracle in politics. You must do the work. You must do the. And they look all of that for life. Say they are structure. They are structure. Where is the structure? We we'll never see her. I don't understand. Do people think that because you are ready to do something, you are looking, they think that that will make what will happen not happen? You think that if you, uh, because you don't want it to happen, means that it will not happen? Then that is naivety. Because what the oppressors must do what the oppressors must do. At the end of the day, we still have the same 20, between 23 to 25 percent voter turnout as we had in 2015, as we had, you know, in most of our election. So at the end of the day, as all of us make noise rich online, nobody came out. Nobody came out. We still had the same. So I know now, Nigerian people. I know my people. The numbers, Naomi had a look. Numbers don't lie. Still the same 20 to 25 percent voter turnout. Lagos, over 7 million registered voters. Lagos, with all the noise you people are making in this Lagos, person no feel rest. Person no feel rest. There were more views in one of my videos than the voters in Lagos. Hmm? 
Over 7 million people with registered voters with PVC. How many of you came out to vote at the end of the day? You see, Nigeria, which are they telling me this? Nigeria be like train with a speed off a cliff. This train, on this track where this train day like this, this train is going off a cliff, falling off a cliff. And instead of we, the people, to try and stop this train, we are looking for the best driver to drive us off the cliff. I repeat, Nigeria be like train that is going off the cliff. Instead of we, the people, to organize to stop the train, we are trying to vote for the best driver to drive us off the cliff. Make anybody not lie to now. Say, if they win election, they don't feel win case for court. Too. Let me tell you, Una must know. If Una don't know, then you have no power. Knowledge is your power, not your vote. So that people don't bamboozle you and use you to destroy yourself. They have used many people to destroy themselves. They have used many African young people to destroy Africa, to destroy their own self. That's their MO. Using us to destroy ourselves is their MO. So I beg. For this Nigeria, what would they hear? Now, under PDP, Tinubu win uh, all Southwest for courts. Now, courts, now I put all Southwest governor. ACA. Now, court, now I put Oshio Mole as governor of Edo State. All this happened in courts under PDP. Because courtroom at the end of the day for Nigeria. Now, let me not say Nigerian courts is fail. Nigerian court is not fail. Nigerian court is not fair. If you take Nigerian government to court and on a play draw, you don't lose. I repeat, if you take Nigerian government to court and on a play draw, you don't lose. Who the outside? Uh, okay. Anybody will take Nigerian government to court and on a play draw, you don't lose. But if you win, and you if you win or to win, you must bring the evidence. The overwhelming evidence. Once you bring courtroom is a space of evidence. You know if you bring evidence, come court, me they say no siam. You know if it happen. You know if it happen. Trust me. Because that judge ah, not only go look we get get many history of judges who don't pass wrong judgment for Nigeria. Go look what happened to them. The courtroom is a place of evidence. So bring your evidence to court. More than let anybody they use now they make I don't, no need to fight anything. If there's evidence, take it to court. Now court they take put so many people in power in this country. Yes. So many people. So this will not be fight matter. You know. We must resolve these contradictions where we ourselves we say women Nigeria better. We know if they behave like our oppressors. We must be willing to listen to different ideas. We must be willing to have dialogue with each other. We know we degenerate into trying to fight. It's only oppressors that cannot stand different idea. So in the field of idea, you know if you get better idea, you turn out to fight. You begin the, so when I see a movement that behaves like the oppressor, full of contradictions, which kind of lie? They never lie for my head. They say me, I they support government. We key my, my grandmama. Now, Obasanjo key my grandmama. And we all know Obasanjo is supporting. Abi? And even at that, even if at this, uh, uh, even at Buari key my grandmama, 
or Buhari also jailed my father. I have never supported Buhari's government. So what kind of movement that is honest, that truly wants to change things in Nigeria, a country that is full of liars in power, is lying. You can't lie. They say, I say, uh, Obi, Poshu, Nodanas. It is not a lie. I'll repeat it. Not only Nodanas, I still show that the evidence, he pursued me from Ebony State, and he wasn't the only one to do it. He was just the first. They say, no one beggars. That's the thing, that, 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 beautifying Anambra, beautifying Lagos. As if the beggars are not Nigerians. Nobody will not create them, turn them to beggars. If we not create programs for them, would they be beggars? Them go away be government for Africa, they don't be beggars. Which governor for Africa know they go beg money to borrow? Beg this one to come donate, beg World Health Organization to come dash them free aid, beg America to dash free aid. This is a beggar country, but we have governors that are not ashamed going around saying they, they don't want beggar in their streets. You a beggar nation going around yeah, shaming your poor. You a borrowing beggar. Hmm? A borrowing beggar. Now they yap poor people for streets. So the contradictions, we must eliminate the contradictions. Is it important? Say, I must read that part of the of this book for now. So even though you know you go block it is small, let's all just for the sake of it just manage. Oh shit, are they come? Manage to see it for a second. No, we just no we'll see comments, but people will be able to follow. You know, people will be able to follow what is there. You know, so let me go to the page here. I think it's in chap chap chapter four. Because it's important we understand certain things. There's no shortcut. If you say you love the people, you want to fight for the people, then you must know the people. What is love without knowing who you love? Can you marry somebody that you don't know? Can you love somebody you don't know? If you say we truly love the people, so this is what they do not be just for show. You're not cloud chasing. You know, because the same people that will tell you, when we are telling you all the time, with me, see, my music must be different. My music must be different. If I'll tell a story, it must be different. Because whatever is mainstream in an oppressive society is part of the oppression. I repeat, whatever is mainstream in an oppressive society is part of the oppression because that means the oppressors allow it, they like it. Whether we like it or not. So when we are constantly telling people, man, be on your job. Be on your job, man. You cannot let, always think about what is going on. Think about your reality. These same people that will tell you, I bet, forget your problem. Why are you thinking about your reality? Now, every time we they think about our problem, I bet a person must enjoy. Let me live my life. The same people that are telling you, people cannot be thinking of their problem all the time. Will not suddenly wake up one day. And tell you, oh, we care about you, your problem. Your problem is now important. This is now the time to take your problem important. Take your problem important six months before election. After you've helped us vote our friends into power, forget your problem again. Come and listen to the nonsense we are writing on our blog. Come and listen to the uh, come and listen to the to the gossip that we are writing on our blog. Abi, wouldn't that be it? Come and listen to the, look at the nyash we are showing you on TV. Look at the fucking we are showing you on TV. So when you are done with that, six months for election again, they will tell you, hey, oh yeah, 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 it's time, it's time, it's time. Come and remember your problem. Come and remember your problem. But the problem is this, that problem that you, you forgot, has never forgotten you. That problem that you left didn't stop being a problem because you ignored it. 
It did not stop being a problem because you ignored it. That problem is still there. In its totality. Problem in a way. Problem in a way. Getting stronger, getting more complicated. So once again, I'm reading from the pedagogy of the oppressed. And for some reason, because I know, you see, I didn't think of that this thing would be like this on this page. So I did not even check to have the page down. Oh my God. Please, everybody, sorry. Excuse me for this small technical glitch, but I'll find, I'll find the page. I'll find the page. Because I, I want to read the whole page out. I'm reading once more from uh, Paolo Ferrer's Pedagogy of the Oppressed. You know, because another thing is, we, we, we Nigerians, we think we are special. That, you know, we are the only ones experiencing what, what we are experiencing. Or we are the only ones in this world that are going through what we are going through. And that's a lie. Because many people have been through what we've gone through. Many people are still going through it. Many people are just fighting it. So we have examples. We have examples to look at. Brazil is a good example of this. You know? And they are, um, the, the way they, the, the toppling and the democratization of Brazil in the 70s. To change a country is not easy. It's not one day, it's not one night, you know, you just wake up and you sleep. Even when you win, you've not won. Even when you win, you have not won. That's when the fighting going on will start. Even when you win at the polls, they will bring military coup. Go and look at Bolivia. Look at what just happened in Bolivia. There are examples in this world. What you are going through is not isolated. You are part of a global struggle. And anybody that is not opening your eyes to that reality so you see the totality of what you are entering is deceiving you. Because we've also seen people deceive people. We've seen these playbooks before. We've seen this playbook before. And I'm sorry, if you're not willing to study this problem, you cannot find the solutions to it. Nobody has a single solution to Nigeria's problem. Niger the solution to Nigeria's problem is inside all of us. It's inside all of us. It's split inside everybody. And until we're all willing to do our part, the solution will never come together. And we cannot find solution inside contradiction. We cannot use the same people that cause the problem to solve the problem. They cannot. They cannot. You cannot use the same people that cause the problem to solve the problem. It's impossible. You have to understand those certain basic things. Uh-huh. So, you should be here now. 50 watts. It is. Uh, what is this page? so hard to find today what kind of winch witchcrafting is this mm -hmm. what be by you what it be well i don't want to leave this life and come back to it Yeah, so this is our election. Like every Nigerian election, you know, until I find it, you know, I'll just make the points. Then when we get here, we'll get here. Because this should be actually, we will help to end the live, to review this page, you know, of the book. But I don't know why I can't find it.
You see that it's not the beginning, it's the middle. And I'm thinking it's the beginning. Huh? So, let me tell everybody something. In the level that we are in right now in our politics, hmm, anybody hmm, that doesn't understand action, you must understand your action, your act, your act. You make a given us some depth. And it's also in this pedagogy of the oppressed. This book I'm telling you about is called The Pedagogy of the Oppressed. I give it to everybody I meet. I feel it's the first book of understanding. Understanding what is happening, both physically, spiritually. You know, because there's there's a spirituality to it. And I don't mean spirituality on this year, uh, what is that? No, but spirituality in that means knowing of self understanding that we we the people are also oppressors in waiting because we are educated by our oppressors they've put their spirit inside of us in their school by setting themselves as the examples of society with the banking system of education you know they've turned us to them that's how you put a gate man at your gate eh? you'll be rude to everybody under the gate man, anybody with power, because you think that that is how to be. We all think that's how to behave. You make some money, you want to get more pool, you want to shine on everybody. We always, we, we, I want to oppress them. We've normalized it. You know, this oppression word, we've normalized it, almost made it some kind of positive thing. You know, so it is. It is important that we also recognize. That's why people don't like talking. You see, they talk. I bet you be already talk. But without talking, how can we plan? What is your plan? We must have a plan. And whether we like it or not, Nigerian people, we are at the stage of planning. We are at the stage of planning. There's no other stage. You've not gone past planning. You've not reached the stage of fighting. You are the stage of planning. Another word for planning is organizing. You know? Another word for planning is organizing. And in this stage, without us explaining our reality to each other and accepting the way we want to move forward with this reality, how do we ever believe that we can come out of it we must plan we can't just go and act that is the illusion of action if you are not involved in the planning of your action that means you have not acted all you have is the illusion of action you have the illusion of action you did not take any action i'm sorry to say i repeat when you're not involved in the planning of the act and you think you are acting based on that plan you know nothing about that people just came to tell you that this is the plan let's go this is the way to go without you being a part of it you don't have and you did not act you only have the illusion of action so brothers and sisters i'm telling you what is the solution the solution is for you to start organizing. You want to support somebody, start attending the meetings of his party. See, you people want freedom made easy. You want liberation made easy. You want liberation, uh, liberation, package liberation. Liberation is not packaged. Liberation cannot be made easy. You almost start to attend now the meetings of this your party in your different words if you can attend the national one attend begin to see what is going on inside what you are joining begin to form your own carcasses within those parties to bring your voices to the fore to let them know what you want what your wants are what your needs are to truly understand the plan that they have for you 
If you are not part and parcel of that, I'm sorry. You don't have, you didn't act. You just have the illusion, you know, of action. And that is what they are encouraging us to continually have. They don't want to make we act as African people. They don't want us to ever act. So they always sell us the illusion of action. You know? That's what they always sell to us. The illusion of action. So we sit down here, Nigerian people, we go complain. All this rigging, all this vote buying must stop. We are shouting that vote buying must stop on behalf of someone that bought votes. I don't understand how we can do that. I repeat, we are sitting down in Nigeria shouting because I don't understand the solution to that. Stop rigging, stop doing mago mago, stop doing backdoor politics, stop buying votes. But we are shouting that on behalf of somebody that breakdantly bought a presidential ticket. That is contradictory. I'm sorry. That is contradictory. You can't say you like it when you do it, but you don't like it when other people do it. It's either we want it to stop. You must want it to stop. Because what we have seen in this election is so much misinformation and misdirection that I really feel bad for the Nigerian professionals. You know, all these people deceiving all these young uh, Nigerian people. Because one day, their eye will open. One day. <laughs> I'm telling you. One day, their eye will open. You know. For someone like Obasanjo now. That set up this whole corrupt rigging system of our democracy. To come out and be deceiving young people as if he's a, he cares about any dem Obasanjo Joe doesn't care about democracy. The worst election, the, the 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 worst ironical part of all this thing is that they were posting for last song. Baba la nonsense, Baba la nonsense. Teacher, don't teach me nonsense. You see, that's what I said. These people just want to bamboozle you. The same fellow that they insult. They are posting it that the election are rigging using teacher don't teach me nonsense. But nobody ever told them that Obasanjo was the one that conducted that election. The election that brought Shagari to power in 1979, Obasanjo conducted that election. It's the worst election in the history of this country. It's the worst election. So how are we going to meet people that are the problem but just because they are saying what we like, we turn them to the solution? No, 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 no. That's not how we get free. That's not how we get free. Because definitely those people are using your emotions to further their own personal interest. It's emotion. We think our emotion can defeat our oppressors. No. It's only our consciousness that can defeat the oppressor. You know. Our emotions can never do it. We can hope, we can wish, we can pray, we can try. But all those things will not work. It's only our consciousness. You know? That can defeat these people. People talk to me. They said, me, I'm like, I never told any lie about anybody. I never told any single lie about anybody. No single lie. Oh, God, I need to, I need to reduce. I found it. Alle, hallelujah. Somebody give Baba a wiper. Give Baba a wiper. I have found it. Ah. So, we must stop the contradictions within ourselves. 
We must stop the contradictions within ourselves and start to raise our consciousness. Stop being unnecessarily emotional. Your emotions cannot solve this problem. This is not a problem. This is not love. This is not love. And there is no miracle. I'm telling you people, there is no miracle. If you say you love a uh, Labour Party, you must be st today start attending Labour Party meetings. From today. Because the problem is that, you see, even though Tinubu has won president, from now, they are planning the next election. Now, as we are talking like this, they started planning the next 2027 move. How is it going to go down? Like this, like this. As I'm talking to you now, they started the planning. You people think that you can shake your yash, uh, watch TV all day, drink all weekend, useless yourself up and down the place, then go and compete with a group of people that have been holding hundreds and hundreds of thousands of meetings. Not hundreds of meetings. Not thousands of meetings. Hundreds of thousands of meetings. They've been holding it since 2019. About this election, you people want to gather yourself after three years of drinking and boozing and enjoying your life and following Yash and twerking and TikToking and telling Shim, I bet every time we think of our problem, allow me to enjoy myself, allow me to. You want to go and compete with those ones in their field? You are not ready. All you have is the illusion of action. I'll prove all those things to you now with this passage. All the things I'm saying, I'll read this passage. You know? So you maybe you understand because you are not special. What is happening to you here has happened to me. Is happening. Has happened. People have defeated it. And we are telling you, we, let's look at what these people did right and use that. We've seen the things they did wrong. This is a replica of the things they did wrong. We've seen it. That's why, we, why am I stupid? Because you are, you are jumping inside fire. The whole Nigeria wants to jump inside fire. And I know it's fire they are telling them to jump into. I've seen the fire. Now, I should now, because I love Nigerian people, I should now follow them and jump inside the fire. No. My job is to Elga, it's fire. Oh. It is fire. If you like, yeah, I, I don't have power to hold you. Abi, I can't hold you. But I will tell you, it's fire. Fire, no, no. So when you jump inside, when it's burning you, ah, she, ah, he told me. This. The LP primaries of Nigeria, PDP, uh, PDP and APC primaries of Nigeria, full of people buying their tickets. Shinopela gone left his party. Why did he? Shino called me when he was joining APC to help him. To, I, I said, Shino, back in the day, till today we talk sometimes, but I just don't. It, because I tell them, you cannot change these people from within them. They will, they will, they will swallow you, ni. You will become them. Cockroach where chicken don't chop. No, fit change that chicken. You want you will don't cockroach. You don't enter chicken belly. You won't change the chicken into cockroach. I mean, you won't turn to chicken shit. Now chicken shit, they cut turn to. You enter into bed with them, you are for the, you can't walk. Now he has left. You know? So because he saw that he can't change them. So should I go and waste time inside me? Well, I know you can't do it. Because I know it's impossible. In the history of humanity, anybody that can show me an example where change has come, that change that affected, that improved the lives of the common people of the place came from within that problem. Come and show me. I've not seen it. Not the apple. Full of vote buying, APC and PDP uh, uh, primaries all over this country. Rigging everything. We say we don't like it. People should not be buying their tickets. We say we don't like it. Buying tickets is wrong. Peter will be too. Contested in that PDP. They bought him out. He see. People say Peter Obi did not contest PDP primaries. That's a lie. That is a lie. Because Peter Obi campaigned around this country in every PDP primaries for delegate votes. 
He campaigned in those primaries. And he saw that he was not going to win. He saw that he had lost. And he left. He campaigned. You can't tell me you campaigned. That means you participate. If you participate, forfeit. Whether you forfeit, whether they beat you, you still lose. You understand? So you go to boxing. Let's say you are a boxer. You enter the boxing ring. As long as you enter that boxing ring, whether they knock you out too, or as you enter, you see the person they give you, you say, ah, eleva pami, you come aside from the ring, you walk out. So far you don't enter, you go enter your record. Fought one, lost one, lost one. They will put the reason four feet. Okay, oh, but lost, lost, you have lost. Then he went to Kwaku and so. That one said, I cannot give you my party ticket because Nami Gongo be party ticket. Be my vice. He said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he went to LP to go and meet Patu Tumi. Please, Nigerian people, tell me which Labour Party delegate voted for Peter Obi. In this Nigeria, which delegate, which primaries of Labour Party did Peter Obi attend to seek the votes of the delegates of that party? They did their same elitist mago mago that is destroying this country. Between him and the part who told me them. Sat down and gave the mandate that the workers of Nigeria gave to him to somebody else. Did he consult all those workers first? No. What do we want to change? Then we complain. When the people who don't like do it, we complain. That's how we behave in this country. It's only a crime when people we don't like do it. When the people you people like are destroying this country, no matter their behavior, so far they are your, your sweethearts, so far they are your lovers, no matter their behavior, we're not going to excuse them. We must change that nonsense. Sean doesn't give solution. That is the reason why you are saying so, because you don't want to change your behavior. You don't want to change kissing or gas yash. That's your problem. And then most of you just don't want to uh, 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 study. The rest of you just don't want to study. Somebody say, I leave uh, election, rig a good I've shown you that you'll be to just rig, rig primaries in Labour Party. Will not be election. They are all election riggers. Don't talk to me as if you're OB. That's why I yab him. Because OB supporters... He has to is a reflection of the leader. People say Obi is calm and gentle. You can't be calm and gentle, and your supporters are, are mad and crazy, aggressive and violent. You know what kind of movement? This is what I'm saying. This is a contradiction. Obedience. You are a contradiction. You know. First of all, to to change this country, we must be disobedient. Your name, first of all, is a contradiction to the solution of this country. We can't be obedient to anybody. In this country, because they are all bastards. You have to be disobedient. First, your name is a contradiction to our solution. Secondly, <laughs> oppressors, when they see anything they don't like, anybody that doesn't agree with them, people like Abacha, people like Obasanjo. That burned my father's house and killed my grandmother. That is not telling us about democracy. And has told them that Nigeria will be born. Why does Obasanjo like to burn Nigeria? Why does he like to burn things? That's why he burned my father's house. Kill my grandmama. Born, born. Now the born, born. Now in the sweet. Nigeria will be born. Why must, like, why must Nigeria be born? Obasanjo, if you reverse, can't you at least, you know, show us your power by yourself? In protest, burn your farm. Burn Obasanjo farm in protest. No, let, this, let the fire start from your farm. Or you mean we should go and burn other people's property? Nobody should near because so they will fool your own house. Nobody go near there. It's not in Nigeria that we born. Uh, Nigeria we born. Start from Ota farm. You people are supporting a man who uh, who with Dangote are the biggest food suppliers in this country. Obasanjo is probably the biggest chicken supplier in the whole West Africa. Probably. 
The price of chicken, can you buy it? People that cannot make things affordable for you are telling you that they love you. His own food that is growing, you cannot afford it. He cannot sell you food for cheap. This man is one of the richest people in this world. He doesn't need money. Obasanjo just can give us food. Even though he's making loss, it will not affect him. But they'll be quoting business uh, law for you, business uh, rules and regulation. You can't do profit and loss. We the way they look for development. Your people are hungry. You are selling them food at prices people cannot afford. And you people will see that you'll be following those kind of people that they are telling you something. Those kind, if he love you, why he never give you in food? See the price of chicken. Obasanjo, all this, most of the other chicken is his own, no? That you are eating. And he move good. I never know. Born Nigeria, we born. Born at a farm first. You know, born fella house. Didn't you burn our house? Why you never burn your own house first? To show protest. Say, you the best. You don't believe in this country again. Burn everything. Now, let me read this passage to you people. If true commitment to the people involving the transfer involving the transformation of the reality by which they are oppressed requires a theory of transforming action this theory cannot fail to assign the people a fundamental role not a role a fundamental role in the process in the transformation process where will your role come from if you are not attending we didn't call you into the party where is the fundamental role your role is to support them, to fight on, online, to make noise. Where is your fundamental role in their plan? Where is the role of the, of the people that are liberating themselves? The leaders cannot treat the oppressed as mere activists to be denied the opportunity of reflection and allowed merely the illusion of acting. Whereas, in fact, they will continue to be manipulated, and in this case, by the presumed foes of manipulation. It's the same people that will tell you that they are not manipulators. We are not thieves. are there to steal from you and manipulate you. If they refuse you reflection, because this is what is happening here. You people refuse anybody to reflect. You refuse anybody to question. People wait tell you now, say don't die in their war. They write a whole book called Don't Die in Their War. I'm telling you now to come and die in the war. It's time to die in the war. Then. Where is the consistency? I say demand consistency. One of the traits of oppressors is inconsistency. That's why they always like when, you know, all these fake boys full town. They would say they be bad guys. People like to lie. We like to cheat and scheme. They say the bad guy because you bad, you lie, you lie, they do they, they like that because that's it, it, it is strengthening your spirit of oppression, it is strengthening your oppressor inside. Many of these people, where they lead you in Australia, they are oppressors in waiting, they just never collect power. Ni. I tell people if you don't like Bola Ahmed Tinubu, say he's a thief. Listen, do you think these people? They, they, they go to the office and enter the account of the government and transfer money to themselves. This is not what they do. That's not what they do. Let me teach you how money is stolen in this country. Stolen, money is stolen in this country through the private sector. If you now listen to article tape where they expose, it called these companies special purpose vehicles. But these are companies that are formed in the private sector the board of directors full of all these your celebrities influencers all these people that you people love they go pack all of them full on the board of directors they give them money they will now take government money and award contracts different billion billions of contracts to all these companies full of their friends and their children who now give them their own share in return under the table that is how money is stolen in this country that is how money is stolen in this country now show me any of your politicians 
among all these three politicians who are the shout between uh, Atiku, uh, Ashwaju, uh, Obidye, where their family no hold this bar? Show me. Do you think Tinubu goes into the office and just drag money outside? Everybody is doing this shit. That is how they are stealing your country. It is called state capture. They have captured our state. We need to remove them completely. State capture is what is going on in this country. Did you hear anybody in the election mentioning state capture? The only person that mentioned that word is Shoure. They won't tell you about state capture. Because they want you to be having this fantasy that somebody just already steal money. That's not money is stolen through companies that is run by their friends and colleagues and musicians up and down the fucking place and actors and all these people. They put them there and share this money for them. So they can keep deceiving you, distracting you, telling you to forget your problem, to forget your sorrow. I see if that means that your problem will forget you. Or your sorrow will forget you. Everybody is using you. That's the game. And you to want to use yourself. The leaders do bear the responsibility for coordination and at times direction. But leaders who deny praxis to the oppressed, thereby invalidate their own praxis. By imposing their word on others, they falsify that word and establish a contradiction between their method and their objectives. If they are truly committed to liberation, their action and reflection cannot proceed without the action and reflection of others. This thing, anyway, let me continue. Revolutionary praxis must stand opposed to the praxis of the dominant elites for they are by nature antithetical revolutionary praxis cannot tolerate an absurd dichotomy in which the praxis of the people is merely that of following leaders decisions a dichotomy reflecting the prescriptive methods of the dominant elites revolutionary praxis is a unity and the leaders cannot treat the oppressed as a possession I mean, sorry, as their possession. I repeat, revolutionary praxis is a unity and the leaders cannot treat the oppressed as their possession. The way I know you people are not in the revolutionary movement is because, one, you are articul articulated, batified, and obedient. You are possessions. The people you are following are not in unity with you. They are not part of you. You are part of them. You are not acting. They are acting. They have action. You have the illusion of action. Listen, the first person that will betray you when you are their possession is the owner of the possession. If you think I'm lying, go and ask the Zikists. Go and ask the Zikists of Nigeria. The Zikist movement of Nigeria was one of the strongest youth movements in this country for our... Uh, for our uh, independence. They were inspired by Nan Yazikwe so much by one speech he gave. They did not study the man. They didn't know from that speech he gave that the man had changed tremendously. They were busy chatting that they were Azikis. When push came to shove, Azikwe denied all of them. He doesn't know who the Zik. Those ones say they are following. You know, not his own Zik. When they finished, they say, uh, well, this who I articulate. I not my article. They articulate. I don't know who those ones are. I'm telling you. Your leader must become a part of you. You people, if you are truly a revolutionary movement, they will be the APC people will not be batified. They will be calling the name of their party. They will be progressives of APC. Progressives, they will not be somebody's possession. So you must immerse yourself you must immerse yourself in your liberation. Anybody that is telling you that you can skip that part, don't worry. Let us go and do it for you. You just come and follow us. They are liars. They are liars. That's why once I see 
any movement that start all this their name. Once they see the once they say where they don't start to give themselves name, like saying a BB, Big Brother Nigeria. <laughs> that they watch. This is not fandom. That means you don't know what is going on. You are following somebody that you think knows what is going on. And any true leader will not move if he knows what is going on. He will not move until you know what is going on too. He will make sure you know what is going on. But the problem in this country is that all of you think you know what is going on. You think you do, but you do, obviously you all don't know what is going on in this country. You think you take this white man tool, this social media. It's a tool, just like your vote is a tool. You just use it in an ignorant way and it will lead you to liberation. Liberation is not magic. It is not sudden. It is not a, we must do that work. We will organize ourselves. If you say that Labour Party you like, go and start attending their meeting today. And find out why they don't have leaders from among you people. Why are the leaders still the rich people of this country that still want to lead by force? People, people like Pat Utomi, where chop Platinum Bank. Platinum Bank. And they chop, they chop the bank from platinum to gold to silver to bronze to copper to plastic to sansan to dust to the bank now it's from dust it becomes they want to liberate it. now one bank they give them they never give their country <laughs> Now bank they give them. They never give their country. So this is head mentality shit. That you people do not because if not because they follow blindly. So you are not interested in stopping the train. Because it will say I repeat, if you say this country, would they interested in stopping this train? Show they? Anybody will say be any they call it say eh, why should we no go be local government chairman first? What which local government eh, eh, which be name? Tafa eh, Bali eh, mm, eh, before he be prime minister of Nigeria. How many local governments you run? For how long do you run local government? I don't understand. Say go go run local government first. He doesn't have the experience. That don't want vest me pass. He doesn't have the experience. Go one. At the age of thirty, where he become head of state of this country. How old was the Murita Law when they take when they do coup for nineteen sixty six revenge coup for sixty six take over this country? How old were they? Now the people will get experience. They say experience, experience, experience. The people will get experience for this country. What have they done? Show me one thing that they've solved. One problem of Nigeria that has been solved by all these experienced people. Show me one problem that has been solved. Where's the experience now? Where did they don't solve? Which problem? But we don't want to stop the train. I repeat, the Nigerian professionals don't want to stop this train. We are the ones betraying the people. I continue to say it. And I wish I'd be lie pass. When we don't betray them, collect money from politicians and do show. Betray them, collect money from politicians and act film. Betray them, collect money from politicians, write story for newspaper, do advert for radio, put them for our blog. Betray the people, collect money from politicians, do architect, build house for them, construct anyone for them. Collect money for politicians, lie for them, do lawyer for them, collect our own share. We call it now when people won't collect their five thousand. See that those people they spoil Nigeria, and then they spoil Nigeria. Why they go collect five thousand to vote after you don't collect millions to put that person in exalted position where they make poor people they look up to her. Where you don't sew in fine cloth, finish. Where they make poor people they say, eh? 
When you don't, now you don't have pam bamboozle the poor people finish you. Write your history for newspaper. The poor people will come forward for all of na plan. All of na plan. The poor people go fall. Una come, all of them go rush, go social media. Rush, begin to advert for TV. I never see advert for TV before. Say politicians of Nigeria stop stealing. I, I never see them before. I never see advert for TV. NGO put advert for TV. Casting the behaviors of politicians. How did they chase girls? How did they spoil country? How did they lie? Never. Now, poor people, don't kill yourself. You're a violent in election. Don't take money for your vote. Don't take your money. To lie. Now, now, they lie to the people. The people of Nigeria are not stupid. It's the professionals of Nigeria that are cunning. You are cunning. We con the people constantly. We do it. We all know what we are gaining. Now, where would they chop? Would they put our head? We've never done anything, say we do one because we love our people. But we would lie, say we that because we love our people. If you love them, then do the work. Do the work to know them. Now, by mouth, they do love. Not because they talk, say, put your money where your mouth is. If you talk, say you love people, they yeah, show us. This is not by dashing people money, doing giveaway. Do the work of understanding their reality. Point them in the right direction. Where you don't know, confess, say you don't know. But not lie. They're going to help people, they lie to everybody. The last paragraph manipulation, sloganizing, depo depositing, regimentation, and prescription cannot be components of revolutionary praxis precisely because they are components of the praxis of domination. In order to dominate, the dominator has no choice but to deny true praxis to the people, deny them the right to say their own word and think their own thoughts. He and she cannot act dialogically, for to do so would mean either that they had relinquished their power to dominate and join the cause of the oppressed or had lost that power through miscalculation. During NSAS protest, now I don't begin to tell people about this book. Since NSAS protest, and at the same time, I tell them what they do during NSAS, that what be the meaning of NSAS? If the NSAS, what does that even really change? Will that even stop police brutality? Because we can do the right thing in this country, but we're doing it wrong. We want to do the right thing. We want to take our energy, but we'll use it wrong. I don't understand. We can't be doing the right things wrong all the time because we are following the wrong people. Don't follow the wrong people. Even if you are following anybody, question, think for yourself. Always ask the why before you do anything. Know the why. And make sure that the why is convincing. Why is philosophical. That word why, not philosophy. Because if you ask him after any question, I won't go to sleep. Why? I don't tire. Why? Because I work. Why? I need money. Why? So if you eat, why? If I don't eat, I go die. Why? <laughs> why you go die if you don't eat? You go ask that why is philosophical. Why? But not the fear. Because at some point, you see as the thing end, if I know that, you go reach point you now, God will go answer the why. Now no one push those buttons. Now no one push those buttons. So instead, you all gather around oppressors, defending oppressors, trying to die for oppressors. Anybody will join with oppressor. Automatically, for me, you are an oppressor. Yes. Because if you are seeking equality with your oppressor, it makes you your oppressor. So I'm not seeking equality with them. I don't want anything that they want. I don't like the things they like. Have you, haven't you asked? You know, they wonder why all these now people, everybody like to go to the same place, dress the same way, eat the same place, eat for the same place, talk the same way, like the same music. Like the same kind of guests, talk the same kind of thing. I don't understand. 
God, can't you see? He's there right in front of you. Now, the correct method for revolutionary leadership to employ in the task of liberation is therefore, oh sorry, when people are already dehumanized due to the oppression they suffer, the process of their liberation must not employ the methods of dehumanization. The methods of their liberation, the process of their liberation must not employ the methods of dehumanization. The correct method for a revolutionary leadership to employ in the task of liberation is therefore not liber lib libertarian propaganda, nor can leadership merely implant in the oppressed a belief in freedom, thus thinking to win their trust. The correct method lies in dialogue. The conviction of the oppressed that they must fight for their liberation is not a gift bestowed by the revolutionary leader, but the result of their own conscience. The word is conscientizao in Portuguese, but it means conscientization. Oh, you bought Leo. Ah, the work of raising the consciousness of the people. The work for raising the consciousness of the people. The revolutionary leaders must realize that their own conviction of the necessity for struggle, an indispensable di uh, dimension of revolutionary wisdom, was not given to them by anyone else, if it is authentic. And that is fact. I've told you, I, me, I be fella picking. When I grew up with my popsy, I no not believe anything when they talk. See, my pops died when he be 14. Now, like, at the go school, nobody... My, my dad different from everybody now. And me, I've been Nigerian picking. I go to school. My teacher, I know they talk to my papa, they talk. TV, you know they talk to my papa, they talk. When I go to church with my friends, pastor, you know they talk to my papa, they talk. So, until this man, they talk. Now, as me, as they grow, through study, the first book I read that had me questioning anything in my life, I can never forget, is a book called The Last Templar. The Last Templar. That was the book I read. And fiction. I'm not even true story, but they put some information in that book. When me say about in a fiction, but due to the age of internet, I could just check like, uh, what is this thing? And I saw it was real. I said, ah, this kind of thing, they. What else are they not telling me? That was the beginning of my journey. I was 23. By that time, I was 14. I was 23 by then. That is the journey to my own conscien conscientization of myself. Raising my consciousness, beginning to see behind the veil of the normal world they are showing to bamboozle all of us. So everybody, you must own your freedom, your liberation. You must know the reason why you want to be free. Because many of you don't even know what freedom is. You just think it's because you want to be able to drink, go to the best club. As I say, many people you are supporting just want a perfection of oppression. As I said, they don't care that public schools don't work. Say. Their problem is that dollar has gone up. Finish. If Tinubu bring dollar down tomorrow, half of them will move to his side and say, this is the best president. Even though he has not fixed public health care, public school, public transportation, uh, public housing, uh, welfare for the people, nothing done for this country. As long as they can afford the privatization of this country, they are even proud about it. They brag about it, how they are ballers and enjoying this privatization. It is because they can no longer afford it. It's pinching them. That's their own problem. And that is not your problem. Your problem is different. You want them to enter government, they're going to privatize the universities, increase, in, like, first of all, do for Lasso, all of them do for their states. Is that what you want? Is that the same thing you are fighting for? Is that the, is, is that the same thing you are fighting for? I doubt it. Anyway. The conviction cannot be packaged and sold. I repeat, the conviction cannot be packaged and sold. It is reached, rather, by means of a totality of reflection and action. Only the leader's own involvement in reality within an historical situation led them to criticize this situation and wish to change it. 
Likewise, the oppressed who do not commit themselves to the struggle unless they are convinced, and who, if they do not make such a commitment, withhold the indispensable conditions for this struggle, must reach this conviction as subjects, not as objects. What does that mean? That the people are indispensable until you people are willing. That's why I'm begging. Let's organize. Let's organize. Let's start talking. Join whatever organization you want so that this conversation can start. So that this ideological conversation can start. So that this battlefield of ideas can start. So that the planning can start. But you people want shortcuts. You want to use social media slogans and memes. Do your content and your skits. And think that in some way that will liberate people that are not even on the internet. Hmm? There are more people in Nigeria offline than there are online. So if we intend to carry this, please, let's look at the internal, internal contradictions within our various organizations. I'm serious. I'm not even saying that come and join MOP. Uh -uh. Please don't. Many of you gone by the way you talk. I don't like uh, your... Uh, I don't like you to be in my party. We don't have the same spirit. But in your own group, be more active. Be more active. Somebody is asking me, yeah, uh, you don't do you too much talk. You can't talk too much. I'm telling you... You are anti see when people say you talk too much, they are being anti dialogical. There's no such thing as talking too much. People that say you talk too much are saying that they prefer aggression because that's what they mean by action aggression, violence. That doesn't change anything without a plan. Without a plan, you, you understand that doesn't change anything without a plan. You need a plan, you need to plan. Plan, let's plan. We are in the stage of planning. You cannot jump the stage of planning. Oh, uh, every day. I don't know. You say organize, organize how? Oh, very simple. So many of you are already fans of organizations, like the people you voted for in the last election. So if you believe in those organizations, you know, join them. You know, these are already organized platforms. So just join. First, fill their form, become a party member, then attend the party meetings automatic you are in the organization you know make sure that you try to you know make your party better that your voices are heard you are organized you are in the party input go to meetings talk invite people there encourage evangelize the manifesto evangelize the ideology of your organization get people interested get people talking get people participating that's how you organize. For those of you that do not believe, you know, in what is on ground, you know, like me, we have created the MOP. And how do we create MOP? Same way, by dialogue. You start talking to people, you find people that are passionate like you, that want things to change like you, that believe in the same ideologies like you. It's important. Ideology is important. You know, ideology is the foundation of everything. People that see the world from your perspective, that see strategy in your reasoning. People you can build with. You start talking to them and you people take it serious. Create time during the week that you people meet and discuss these issues. And you move from there. Find more people to join you. Spread across as we've been doing. Use social media. Use any platform that you can. Get people interested. Spread your ideas. Evangelize your ideas. Bring people to join you. You understand? And you, you join them. You know, and when I say join you, I don't mean you as a person, I mean you as an organization. This you here is the organization. You know, join the organization. You know, create your con the rules that you want to use to run this organization. Create the rules and everybody be humble in the presence of the rules of your own organization. Nobody should be above the rules of your own organization. You know, these are simple things I don't feel I have to tell anybody. You know, but if you feel I have to tell you, yeah, there you go. I, I've told you, you know. Ah, Mary Oji said, if you go love 
Big Ben Kuti. Oh yeah, follow me. Make make I grow small. Ah, sorry, too late. I don't already join MOP. Uh, I don't already, I don't already join MOP. Uh, Mary, I'm already in my own organization, and I'm not a betrayer. Me, I'm lawyer. I don't just jump into things blindly. Before we agree to be a part of MOP, we are seeing that MOP is what we believe in, and we believe that the strategies and the ideologies of MOP can lift us out of the problem that we are in. And we know that it is a marathon, not a sprint. It is not because we want to shout on social media, it's because we also want to and go and vote once in four years. You understand? And then suddenly, anyway, we want to make sure that we are doing the work constantly, the marathon of meeting people and organizing and growing our political party, registering it, and, you know, bringing leaders to the front. You know, many people are saying, Shion, come out for president. Let me tell you, at least right now, for a fact, I, Shion, cannot hold elected office. I am not interested in any elected office, public elected, public office, rather. Sorry. I'm not interested in any public office. I'm only interested in, of, in the offices of the MOP. And from the MOP, I believe that we will bring great politicians, both young and old, middle-aged, professional, non-professional, everybody from all walk of, walks of life who, be, who understand our reality enough to change it to meet our potential. You understand? These politicians will come out of the party. You know, that's another thing. We believe that, oh, since we are the ones with name and fame and all those things, we must be the leader. No. Not necessarily. You can be an organizer, you know, and that will make the organization strong. And uh, from our organizing, we, we are able to identify talented politicians who are diplomatic, who can bring unity, who can unify, who can talk across both sides of the table in dialogue, in negotiations, to continue to develop this country as we want, you know, with the people, with the help of the people. You know, with the full commitment of the people, you know, because the people will be a part of that leadership, just the way the leadership will come from within the people. You understand? The leadership will never be imposed on the people. The, the leadership will not come from any kind of backdoor agreement. The leadership must be transparent 100%. You understand? There can be no backdoor uh, leadership uh, action, as we have seen in our mainstream politics here. You know, so, thank you, everybody. For joining this live today i want to say again yes nigerian people we did the right thing we did the right thing or rather we tried to do the right thing but once again we have done it wrongly just like nsas i know now poor people now die for nsas but now rich people they enjoy free toll gates today for lucky because people always they, they, people always lie to everybody what do they gain from nsas since 2020 nobody has paid toll gates in lucky People that live there in those areas have saved millions and millions of naira on the blood of those people that died in Lekki. Millions, they've saved millions of naira, all of them, by not paying, paying those tolls. You understand? So they've been benefiting. But even the people that were killed have not even gotten, even justice has not come to the people that have been killed all over this country, you know, for that struggle. You know, and once more, they are selling you down the river for their own personal interests, their own free toll gates. They will benefit. You will be left, you know, with nothing. You'll be left with nothing. Just the memory. Many of them, God don't even remember the thing. October 2020. How many people? Maybe Fowles and Mr. Macaroni come out every year with some other celebs. Too. But who does anything other than that? You know? Do clubs close down because of that? Do cinemas close down? Do workers, you know, strike for that day that all Nigerian workers say this October 2020 the day we remember all our young people that were killed in this country, you know, that are still haven't gotten justice and, they, and we stay at home, you know? No, we serve the elites. We serve our drinks. We live our lives and pass through our free toll gates. You understand? So this is what I'm telling you, you know. This is what I'm telling you. We have to understand that. Thank you very much.